guys, it's Kylie, and in today's video, I'm gonna share with you how to make a Disney ear hat. So today I'm gonna share with you how to turn a hat or Disney ears into together a Disney ear hat. So it's very similar to the headbands you see behind me, but instead of being on a headband, it is on a hat. This makes it more comfortable for people that don't like to wear headbands, they don't like the way they touch their ears, or if people just don't like wearing headbands at all, maybe you have a son that wants to wear Disney ears but doesn't want to wear a headband, the ear hats are a perfect alternative to be able to do that. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make those, but if you guys are interested in more Disney and craft videos just like this, definitely hit the subscribe button, turn the bell so you get notified every time I upload as opposed to tons of Disney content on this channel and we are in the middle of vlogmas which means I'm posting every single day through Christmas. So today I'm going to be making a Patriots themed ear hat and I'm super excited to show you everything that you need and how we're going to make this hat. Okay so in front of me I have all the stuff that I'm going to need to make the ear hat. I have some trim for the ears. I'm going to be making Patriots themed ears. I thought this was just a fun fabric to use for this. I also have some red fabric. I'm going to be making a bow on mine. You don't have to make a bow on these especially if you're making it for a guy that doesn't want a bow. I think these are fun um, for both anybody that wants to wear a hat and then I do have a hat I just got these off of Amazon I will have anything that I can find linked in the description down below but this is all I do is I'm gonna glue it to this first half of the hat so you can still keep it folded these are just simple ball caps that I found on Amazon I have some cardboard from a package I got I also have my little hot glue gun and some scissors along with the templates that I use which I will find and link in the description down below for you the bow I don't have a template for but it's just eight by eleven all I did was cut the extra your half inch of the piece of paper off so it's just 8 by 11 is what I use for the bow. So what we're going to start off with is we're going to be using the ear sewing line and we're going to make our different ear pieces for the cardboard. You could also use a foam board. I just like using this cardboard, especially these priority mailboxes. They're nice and thin so if you get any of these in the mail I would definitely recommend using these. So all I'm doing is I'm exactly tracing this one. This is the one you want to make sure that it's precise just because this is going to be the interior shape of your ears. You're going to need four of these. So now that I have these traced out, I am going to go through and cut them all out. So I've cut out my four pieces of cardboard and now I'm going to just put those to the side. I would plug in your hot glue gun soon to get that ready too so that it starts heating up. I'm now going to go through and pick out the pieces I want from my fabric. So for this fabric I'm going to try to pick some different designs um, so that I have some different pieces to look at. So I'm going to take the your cutting line and I'm just going to line it up in different ways. So it looks like we have Mickey trying to throw the ball in this position. We have Mickey trying to throw the ball in this position. We have him trying to run the ball, and then we have the Patriots logo seems to be the different designs on here. So I think for right now I'm going to start with the Patriots logo that is right here and cut, put a line around that to be able to cut that one out. So I just take this and I trace it. This one doesn't have to be as perfect. I usually go a little bit bigger than the lines it has, and we go around and trace it and add some excess for that. I'm also going to go right next to it and use the running back form of Mickey and go around and trace that. So once you trace out your four Mickeys, um, your different shapes, it doesn't have to just be Mickey, but I have the Patriots logo, running back Mickey, and the two different kind of quarterback style Mickeys, I am now going to go through and cut those out. So now I have all these pieces together and all of the last thing I'm going to do is I am just going to cut the fabric for the bow so that I have that ready as well. So I'm just going to take this red fabric and I'm going to lay out my bow template on it and cut out my bow template. So all I'm going to do is just trace this out. These two sides actually seem pretty good so I'm not going to worry about those two sides. I'm just going to lightly trace the other two sides so that we can cut it out. And I'm also going to cut an extra little strip next to it that's about an inch, inch and a half to use for the centerpiece of our bow. 
So I'm just gonna go and cut this out. So now I have my bow fabrics ready, my ear fabrics ready. So I'm gonna start with the ears. We are going to lay out our four pieces of fabric. We are gonna each take one of these and glue them on. So I have my hot glue gun ready. And all I'm doing is once I line up the way I want the fabric in the cardboard is I'm just going around and putting a line of glue on the outside of the cardboard and just folding up our fabric all the way around so that we can get a nice seal. You want to leave it. You don't want to stretch the fabric around. That's why the fabric's bigger. You don't have to try to stretch the fabric because you want to be able to leave some room to be able to stuff the ears. Unless you're trying to do flat ears, which people do, but I prefer ears that have some fluff to them. So you're just going around and placing the fabric on the gl hot glue. You're not stretching it. You're just gently placing it where it needs to go so that you still have some stretch to the fabric to be able to put the uh, fluff which is the polyfill that's another thing you're gonna need is the polyfill to be able to stuff them but this is what one ear looks like and now I'm gonna go through and do the other three Now we're going to take our four pieces now that they're all glued and we're going to stuff them. So I'm taking a little bit of polyfill and I'm just stuffing them in. So this one's the Patriots logo and we're just going in and stuffing them up with some polyfill. You want to make them as even as you can for all four of them. Um, so whether you make them all really fluffy, somewhat fluffy, and you also want to try not to bend the cardboard on the back. See, this one's kind of bending, which means you probably overstuffed it. So I'm just going to take out a little bit of the polyfill because if these bend, it just makes them harder to glue together. So now I'm going to go through and stuff all four of these and then we're going to seal them up once they're all stuffed. Um, these ones are going to be stuffed a ton. I'm going to keep these on the flatter side, but I do like to at least have a little bit of fluff to them and don't keep them. I don't like my ears perfectly flat, so I'm just going through and stuffing them all. So now that all four of these are stuffed, I'm just going to take the glue and put it on the back so we can seal these up. So you just take that extra flap that you left for the fabric and you just seal them all up. This will also help to keep them all nice and secure. You can also move the polyfill around inside them once they're secure. And I'm just going to add the glue to each one of these. And you might get these little flaps on the side. So all I do is just add a little extra glue right there to hold these flaps down and make sure that they don't stick out these sides. So now I have my four ears all stuffed and I'm just going to go through and pick which ones I want together and try to figure out which ones I want on the front. I really think I want this quarterback look on the front and I actually think the other one I want is the Patriots logo. So I think I'm going to do these two as my front two and which means I'm just going to take, okay, so this one's a smaller stuff compared to this one. So now I'm going to figure out, okay, this one's more stuff than this one. So I'm going to line them up this way and I'm going to glue them together. So all I'm going to do is take my hot glue, go a nice loop around the outside and swirl it around the middle and then take my other piece and just glue them together. When I glue these together, I then take them and put them under something heavy so that they stay nice and secure. And then I take just while they're drying and then I'm going to do the other ear. And then while I make the bow, I just leave those under something heavy. So it could be a book. It could be literally just be your foot. Something that's putting pressure on it just to keep them together because sometimes they like to try to pry apart. So I just hold them together and then put some pressure on them so that they stay nice and secure together while I make my bow. So for the bow, how I do my bows is I just draw a line across and I fold the fabric into about 50% and then I do the same thing on the other side, line across and then I fold the fabric in about 50% and then I do the same thing in this way. So I take it, fold it in about 50%. And same thing again, fold it in about 50% just to make it even. And then I do add some extra little glue down here to glue all these pieces together. And then I'm gonna put that to the side while I make my strip. For my strip, all I do is draw two lines down it and fold each side over in half. You might need to secure the ends a little bit more. The ends usually stay a little bit floppy right for those initial lines. And I'm just gonna secure the ends down. And now we have our strip. So for the bow, we're just going to go over. We're kind of fold it like an accordion style. We're going to go over, 
under or over under till we fold it like an accordion flipping it back and forth and I like my two ends to be facing the back so that it looks like this so now I'm going to take our hot glue and put it in the center of the two pieces and hold that together and then same thing on the back kind of put it in the center to just hold all those pieces together in that bow shape and then I'm going to take a nice dollop of glue and stick that right here on the back and I'm going to stick my ribbon on the back and loop it around probably about two times sometimes it loops around three depending on how long you make it I think I'm just going to do two and then we are going to put an extra dollop of glue to secure our piece of like our ribbon piece that goes in the middle and then I will just trim off the excess of this strip and this is where it's going to glue onto the hat so I'm not worried about how perfect that is on the back because that's where it's going to glue onto the hat and then all we do is a little bit of fiddling just to make it look even make sure that the strip is in the middle and there is our bow so now I'm going to take our two ears and we're going to add our trim so all we're going to do for this is go around the outside and just put glue in where the two pieces of the ear come together and we're going to add this fluffy white pom-pom trim I really like adding this trim to ears. I love the way the pom-pom trim looks. So I'm just going around and adding that all the way around. So now I'm going to take our hat and for the hat I like to put the ears on the edge right before it folds over so you can still keep it folded over and then the bow is obviously going to go in the middle. I think I'm going to have it with the Patriots logo on this side and the quarterback Mickey on this side with the bow in the middle. So all I'm going to do, the big key for this one is it's not as sturdy as the headband so trying to hold it together and really get those ears secure so you're definitely going to need a lot of glue. So I'm just going through and putting on a solid amount of glue and you want to make sure these are nice and secure. The ha hat is more flexible than the headband so you can really like kind of bend it to the ears but you do just want to sit and hold this each ear for a little bit while you're putting it on. And now we're going to do our other ear so I'm just going to do the same thing. Put a good solid chunk of glue on this. You want to make sure it has a solid amount of glue just to secure it nicely to the hat. And then again, we're going to try to line them up as even as we can. These ones are easier to get even than the headband because they have the ball in the middle to really help you find the center of the hat. And then we're just going to hold it nice and tight. And then finally, we are going to stick our bow on in the middle. So all I'm going to do is put a solid amount of glue, especially on the front of the little dollop in the middle of the hat, to put our bow and secure that in the middle. So we're just going to take it and we're going to shove that bow right there in the middle and make sure it's as even as possible and just hold that nice and tight and then we will be gluing the bow to the ears to make them even more secure together. And finally we're just going to take our bow and we are going to secure it to each side of our ears to finalize our ear hat. So I'm just going to take it and we're going to secure it and try to just make it so that you can see as much of the logo as you can but still secure that bow on to our ear hat. So our ears and our bow are all connected. Our ears are, and each one of our ears and our bow are individually connected to the hat which finalizes our hat. So this is what our ear hat looks like. I think this is such a fun way. If you prefer wearing hats in the parks, this is such a cute way to do it. So we still have the Disney ears with the Disney bow. And we got the awesome Patriots ears. But instead, we have it on this awesome hat. I think I might be giving this one to my dad or I'll wear this one in the parks. I just think this is super awesome. It's also perfect for game day. You can wear the Patriots ears on game day, which I think this is an awesome alternative to the traditional headbands and super fun to make. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you 
you did. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's daily Advent opening and you answer today's question of the day. So welcome to day 15 of our Advent opening question of the day. Today's question of the day is what is your favorite Disney movie? And our Advent for today is in this little box with the 15 and the presents. I'm super excited to open this up. There's only like 10 more days till Christmas. Oop, our box fell all the way out. I'm going to stick that back in. I think we're looking at super awesome pins to see what we got. So I'm going to cut open this bag and see what we get. So the pin we got for today is another Epcot pin. It's Orange Bird. I think these are super awesome. I love these little snowman pins and Orange Bird makes a very cute snowman with the green leaves. I think this is awesome. I think you could even make this snowman if you found some leaves in your yard. So I think this is such a cool pin and I'm excited to add this to our pink Christmas tree. So this is the last one in this row. So adding it to our pink Christmas tree. It's coming along great and it's looking like a little holiday tree of pins. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Mm -hmm.